Okay, so just before we leave piriformis stretches, um, a couple of things about this, and some of you may have felt it. Um, when you're rotating in this direction, some people may find that they feel medial knee pain because of that rotation. Not much you can do to alleviate that, so if it becomes too uncomfortable, then unfortunately, you simply can't stretch piriformis in that way. Other areas that they may feel it is around the front here. And we think by the sort of palpation <coughs> and the places that people are indicating, it's clearly the origin of sartorius at anterior superior iliac spine. And again, it's probably because of that rotation and bringing the insertion so far round that's causing that stretch. So they're just some of the side effects that you can encounter. Okay, we're going to move on to hamstrings now and isolating them. So if you could turn over for me onto your back. And again, think about adjusting the, the couch height. So I'm going to just bring you down a little bit. That's it. And ordinarily, to stretch all hamstrings, you'll simply take the leg up into this position. And I would normally rest the leg over my shoulder like so, leaving these hands free to be able to keep the knee straight. And that's important. Uh, there's no point in allowing the flex to knee as you go into flexion because that's shortening the hamstrings just as fast as you're trying to stretch them. So it's important that you keep that extension there. If you need to, you can kneel on the couch to get better control, okay? But now we've got to discuss and decide how we're going to target either the medial portion, the semitendinosis and membranosis, or we target the, the lateral. So if we were going for biceps femoris first, what additional joint actions might you bring in to try and isolate that area? Any ideas? The last rotation of that. So. Rotation, yeah, but if we internally rotate, you're going to draw the head of the fibula round, okay, and that's obviously going to take the insertion further away from your origin. So, internal rotation. Any other movement? If we go into a little bit of adduction as well, you will assist even further in shortening the medial hamstrings and lengthening the lateral hamstrings. Are you feeling that? Yeah. Really good. <laughs> okay. Now, how far you go into rotation and adduction is also important. We don't want to see extremes of adduction because that's not going to do a great deal of help. Um, so you rotate adduct a little bit and then you use continue to use flexion of the hip to increase that stretch and I imagine you're certainly feeling that yeah and definitely down the lateral aspect yeah yeah so that's going to be your way to stretch them what about the contraction phase it's going to be complicated isn't it if I ask him to do a triplane movement moving back to that position so there are two ways you can try and do it, and I would negotiate this with your clients so that they can feel it. They can either abduct and just push against you in this plane of movement, or they can simply try and straighten the leg through rotation, okay? And that pulling round into lateral rotation or external rotation will again be focusing on biceps femoris. So try and get them to do single plane motions as a, a, an easier method of getting them to focus on the right muscle, but get them to feel it down that lateral compartment. When we move to the medial hamstrings, if we've done internal rotation, we're gonna now do external rotation, and you can see here the medial hamstrings being drawn round with tendinosis inserting on pesanserine and membranosis coming high up in the medial plateau there. So you're very definitely taking those insertion points further around, keeping the knee extended, and then we can abduct as well. Are you feeling that in the medial hamstrings? I think probably a bit further. Yeah, okay, so just a little bit more into abduction before I start flexing. Yeah. Well. And he's got it, okay. So again, you hold your passive t uh, stretch for 12 seconds, and then you negotiate with your client how they're gonna get that contraction, whether it's a rotation, or an adduction, get your build and hold going uh, to get your active contractile stretching phase, okay? 
Any questions on methods on stretching hamstrings? So you should, through sports injury assessments, be able to determine where an injury might be occurring and in rehab and using PNF stretching in the latter stages, be able to isolate particularly that part of the group. Okay, and stretch them. So once again, if you'd like to pair up and do 